Hello and welcome to this, the finale of our Stealth AI series. In this episode, we're looking at wrapping things up with a few bug fixes and some final touches. So let's start off with the bug fixes. At the moment, our character has two major bugs that we've uh, identified. And then no doubt will be some more, but if you do find a bug, please let me know in the comments below and then we'll add on our extra videos to solve those bugs. On to these ones. So the first bug is that when we're running and we hit to crouch, we slide along the floor and that's not good enough. We also have the issue of when we go and crouch down and then stand up, you see the capsule doesn't change to the correct height. So that's also the second issue there. So let's go through that process. So the first thing to do is go into our player character. And in our player character, we need to change this stand up function here uh, to work with a detection whether or not it is in prone or whether it is in crouch mode. So add new input on here for saying is prone. And that will go into a branch here. Now the true will go into the existing code we have here. The false will go into a different animation. This one's going from prone to standing. And this one we want to do if we're crouched to standing. So we're going to do another play montage. Going into false with the mesh. Going into there. And we change it to crouch to stand. The rest of it, uncompleted, will go back up to the top to uncrouch. Now we have that input on our function of stand up. We have to add that to our code here. So in our stand up and prone, crouch prone code, we've got stand up happening here. We're going to tick that to be true on that one. And the other instance we have of it is up here on our takedown. And I want this to actually be a different place. So I'm going to take that out of there. Reconnect that back up to success. And then on resume control, let to stand up. Hit compile. And there we go. So that's that. Next, all we need to do is change the sliding motion. Now the sliding motion, we're going to disable movement when we are crouching and when we're going to prone. So when we do crouch here, we're going to drag our character movement component out and we're going to disable movement. And we want to copy that and put that at the end of this branch here for the play montage for crouch to stand and stand to crouch. I'm going to put that up here as well. So that disables the movement. We have to now re enable the movement. And we're going to do that at the end of our animation. So for that, go to your player animation blueprint. And up here, you've got the animation notifier, is crouch notifier, is standing notifier on your event graph. At the end of both of those, you want to get your player character reference. Get the character movement. And then set the movement mode. walking and we also want to go over to prone to stand and we should also put in the boolean for is crouching set that to false as well that way the animation of it will actually stand up and match the same height as your capsule we hit compile and save let's test those two out now so i put here uh, go to crouch and up, hold it down, go to prone, that up, there you go, works. Next we're going to do is replace our meshes with our correct meshes that we want to use and animations as final touches. So in my player character, we're going to go over here and I've imported in some asset packs that are free on the marketplace, so you can help yourself to them. Um, I've found this character soldier mesh here, so I'm going to change it to soldier style 2. And I'm going to change the capsule component to be hidden again. Then I'm going to go into my enemy character. 
and change their mesh do the same so we'll do it up here go style one and we'll make sure the part i think the animation class is correct there i believe it's that one uh no not that one so it will be the u4 asp hero compile and close that now hit play we've got the player character in their mesh with the enemy in their mesh and we do a takedown and to put this into a map i've already done that i've got a map again part of the animation uh, part of the uh, marketplace sorry uh, it's free um at least it was when i downloaded it and i put it in this bunker Okay, and so I've got this character over here. He will go and patrol this corridor and play. It goes. There we have it. And that brings us to the end of our stealth ai series now there are obviously loads more stuff you can do with stealth ai and stealth games in general um but that's where we're going to leave this part of this series uh for now if you'd like to see more stuff with stealth give me a shout in the comments about what kind of stuff you would like to see maybe you want to see like shadow light stuff maybe you want to see different ai behavior let me know in the comments below and i'll be interested to see what kind of stuff we can turn into future videos later on Big shout out and thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. It's thanks to people like them that I'm able to carry on making these videos and this series. So thank you again so, so much to everyone for supporting me. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help out and I can't thank you enough. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.